Yo, what's good, Griffin 13 3 here back in the day, and today, guys, we are here for a brand new season in Forest Horizon 4, this time being spring, which will last from today, March 7th, to next Thursday, March 14th. But, of course, the brand new season means a brand new set of weekly Forest Lawn challenges and Forest Lawn shop rewards. This week's Forest Lawn is 19 to the dozen, where we'll get behind the wheel of some amazing super saloons and see what they can put out on the track, as well a little bit in the air. So right now, though, let's go ahead and take a look at the challenges that we have for this week. Starting things off, we have, oh yes, own and drive any super saloon. Now, I actually had to Google what all yes was from, and apparently it was actually a meme. Like, I am a meme lord, and I'm so surprised that I did not realize that this was some kind of meme out there. But even the Urban Dictionary definition says that all yes is a phrase that is uttered when you're about to get some mother effing breadcrumbs because apparently this meme is all about a duck getting some breadcrumbs I, I i don't know why it's here it makes me chuckle a little bit but if somebody knows another reason as to why this challenge is called all yes please leave a comment down below as i'm curious to see what this is all about why is it here about super saloons I, I, is there like a super saloon called a duck or something i i don't know or breadcrumbs that would, that, that's my curiosity. That is my curiosity of the day. But after that, we have a Luxury Performance Breeze Past the Opposition to earn five triple pass skills whilst racing your Super Saloon. So there are a couple different ways we can go about this. The first one, of course, is just to basically knock out some races in a Super Saloon and hope for the best. The other way is to kind of just, you know, slow down, do some timing, time it right, lower the difficulty, and set it up just so that you can get a straight shot through and pass three people relatively easily. The other way, and I'm not sure if this works every single time, I tested it out with my 2017 Hoonigan Jim Kahana that I'm in right now, and it worked. But if you head over to the drag strip, I took off in this car and was actually able to get three pass skills right then and there and earned a triple pass skill right at the beginning of the launch I, I honestly i didn't know if that was going to work or not but and i don't know if it's going to work for every single one of these super saloon cars i will test it out here in a little bit to see if it actually does work but that is just something to go ahead and keep in the back of your mind next up we have is please as punch show that you mean business by earning 12 side swipe skills with your super saloon of course the side swipe skill is not too terribly difficult just hit something with your side that, that's pretty much all you got to do drift into a post drift into a fence drift into a small tree and you'll be able to get your side swipe skill but then finally we have our air challenge which is nailed it cannonball make a splash by earning three stars at the swan dive danger sign with your super saloon so this shouldn't be too hard as long as you tune your car up fairly well. You know, I'm not necessarily sure how difficult the Swan Dive Danger Sign is right off the top of my head. If people are seeming to have a little bit of difficulty with this challenge, I will make another video on how to actually pass this Danger Sign, but not entirely sure yet how difficult it's going to be. We'll see how this actually works out. But now that we've seen all of the things that we got going on for our weekly Forza Launch Challenge, let's go in and see what is going on in the Forza Launch Shop. So starting things off in the Forzathon shop, in our Forza Edition car slot, we have the 2004 Maserati MC12 Forza Edition. And finally, for once I get to say, buy this car if you don't already have it. For the most part, I usually tell you, ah, just go check the auction house, it's probably a little cheaper there. But no, no, this week I'm actually going to tell you, this is probably a hell of a deal, because right now... The Maserati MC12 Forza Edition is one of the rarest and most expensive Forza Edition cars to get your hands on. Because, like some of the other rare ones, it is a car mastery car. But, the car that you can get for this one is extremely expensive. It's the Maserati 300S. And it comes in with a price tag of 6 million credits making this one of the most expensive cars in the game right off the bat. Plus, on top of that, you have to unlock it via Car Mastery. And every single one of those Car Mastery points that you spend is more than 7,000 credits worth. That is insane. That means that this thing costs nearly 7 million credits just to get your hands on. 
And it's not like you can necessarily go over to the uh, auction house and pick up a 600S. Now, you could get lucky and have that happen. But odds are, if you go to the auction house and try and buy a 600S, somebody has already unlocked the Maserati MC12. And that's the whole reason that that 600S is for sale in the auction house. Is because somebody already went and unlocked this car and is selling both of them on the auction house to try and make some profit. So, this is one of the few Forza Edition cars that I will say... Go ahead and purchase it with your fours on points because I am going to do so right now. There we go, guys. I just purchased that with fours on points. You saw it. Everybody saw it. I am taking my own advice. But next up we have is another pretty amazing car being the 2017 Hoonigan Jimka Hunt 10 Ford Fiesta SD. Coming in at a whopping 754 stunt points. I don't even think I mentioned how expensive the Maserati was last time at 504 stunt points. But this car is slightly more expensive. But it is amazing. I mean, I've got mine right here and I absolutely love this thing to death. If you don't have this car already, you might as well go ahead and pick it up. But 754 stunt points, again, is kind of pricey. And I almost would actually recommend getting the Maserati over this because I, I, I don't know. I don't know. It, the Maserati's a little cheaper if you can only afford one, but this is also a Forza exclusive. It's more likely to actually be in the Forza shop because we've seen this car now twice. We've only seen the Maserati once so far, but you can always pick up the Maserati any other time for 7 million credits or so, but you can only pick these up in the Forza shop or via seasonal championships, etc., etc. Then we come to our normal Forza clothing items, which... This week we have patrol hats, so if you want to look like a cop, well, this is probably your best opportunity to do so. And we have patrol hat, and we have patrol hat. Both of them cost 254 zone points. I did my research this week. I actually found out how much they cost ahead of time. So, if you want to go ahead and pick one of these up, might as well do so. They're not going to be in your typical wheel spin, so if you're just buying it to get rid of it out of your wheel spin, don't get it. If you want to be a collector and just go ahead and get them, Go ahead and do so as well, but they cost 254 Zlon points a pop. Then finally, we come down to our wheel spins in super wheel spins with regular wheel spins costing the same as always at 44 Zlon points and our super wheel spins costing the same as always at 154 Zlon points. But for the fact that we don't want to waste our 4 Zlon points, I have saved our 4 Zlon wheel spins from last week, so we have got three to go ahead and do right now. Like always, we like to try and do some super wheel spins at the end of these deals to kind of see if they would have actually paid off for themselves. Typically, they don't. <laughs> Let's be straight up honest. Typically, they don't. Although, statistically, they should. I'll get to that in another video. But right now, let's go and see what we can pick up with these wheel spins. Come on. Can we get something good? I'm seeing some Forest Editions. I don't necessarily want any Forest Editions. Like, some Forest Edition glory is always nice, but then it's like, oh. Oh, look at that. We got Forest Edition glory. Yay. So I don't know how much that BMW is actually worth. Is that, is that a good one? Uh, I'm going to have to look that up and see if that's a good one. We got 25,000 credits and a 1988 BMW M5 Forest Edition. So Forest Edition glory. Yay. Hopefully it's not absolute garbage. H hot, hot garbage. But let's go ahead and spin again. Come on. Can we get something good? Usually Forest Edition glory would be good, but uh, let's get something nice. Absolute booty. Absolute booty, booty, booty. Oh, my God. Let's see. That's 75,000 credits. Oh, man. This is uh, this is pitiful right there. Ouch. Ow. That, that one hurt. But we got one more wheel spin. Can it redeem itself? I'm seeing a lot of gold in that first one. Come on. Give us something damn good. Woo. Ooh. I like that. I do like that. We got the Red Velvet Bomber. 15,000 credits, but then we also picked up the Ford Fiesta GRC. I don't think I actually have that car. I think that is the first time that I've actually picked up that car, and I am extremely excited. I think, though, that you can buy it in the store. I just want to go ahead and double-check really quickly. It's not anything special, I don't think, but uh, it, it's always worth checking these things out, you know. I, I, Because you never know, you might get a car and you might think, ah, I don't want this anyway. It's just a stupid Honda CRX, and it turns out to be super damn expensive. I, I, I just I just want to check really quickly. I think it's worth like 500,000 credits normally. I think that's what it is, but uh, we're, we're going to see. 
we're gonna see right here yeah it's 500,000 credits we picked it up so I'm actually okay with that which you know that kind of brings everything into fruition there but uh yeah it was uh not the greatest not the greatest set of super wheel spins but right now that's what we're gonna go and wrap things up for today if you guys want to you can follow me on twitter and instagram at twitter.com forward slash girl from one three and instagram.com forward slash girl from one three and if you guys like this video go and make sure to hit that like button down below for us because you guys already know your support is so greatly appreciated and make sure to subscribe for more videos come out all the time thank you guys so much for watching peace out